Hi, we are John and Samantha. Welcome to our channel, Vintage RV Adventures. We bought our motorhome in July 2021, and with the help of a Rob the Builder, we have spent that time rebuilding the motorhome from what was a salvage wreck. This year, we're going to complete our motorhome project, and we will soon be on our way visiting some lovely parts of the UK, when we'll also take Shelby, our German Shepherd dog, along for the ride. So please do follow our journey. We look forward to having you along. Well, we've had a little delivery uh, whilst we've been away. Come from America. We've now got our front shock absorbers. I am, mate. <laughs> so uh, we have a quick look, see how easy or difficult these are to fit. And I think it's the latter, actually. So uh, let's have a look. First job. Let's spray the bolts up with some WD-40. Looks a little bit easier, Rob, doesn't it? We've yeah, got yeah. a spanner on the back here. Yeah. And we can loosen, we can it, loosen it from this end. Yeah. So we just hold this spanner in the right position. Yeah, slowly, slowly, we'll get there. We've managed to get the socket in the top over here, undo the nut and took the bush off as well. Now underneath here, there's another one we need to remove. And once we remove this spanner, that will drop down and fall out. Cool. Okay. And that's one of the old shock absorbers, guys. And that's the reason we're taking it off because it's uh, it's not leaking, but it's very badly corroded. So uh, yeah, let's uh, show you one of the new ones. All right, that's one of the new ones. Right size, Rob. Well, that's it. that's uh, shortened because it's. Uh, yeah, the tube is the further in, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, nice and new. Yeah. Lovely. It's just the bushes that you need, don't you? Yep. That nuts on there. Oh, I've got new bushes. Okay. Well, that's all not straightforward, is it? Show them the problem, Robs. Uh, so that's the lower fixing bolt. Yeah. For the old one. Which works perfectly. Straight through. <laughs> and then and on the, the new, new one, it needs no. shaving. So we've got to take about half a mil off that or something, or change the collars over. It's probably easy to just uh, drill it out. Okay, so we've just drilled that out a little bit. About a quarter of a mil or whatever it is. Try yeah, about half a mil, mate. Half a mil. Half a mil. There you from go. there. Good enough. perfectly. Let's get it fitted. <laughs> yeah. There we go, guys. One pair of new front shock absorbers. That went too bad, did it, Rob? No, it's... Uh... <laughs> this side was better than the... Yeah. Other side, it, it was it was uh, a job that I thought was going to be a bit of a bugger, but um, it's turned out to work out better than we thought. Okay, the next job is to replace this door because um, it wasn't a side locker door. Yeah, it's a side locker door. There's a small little garage in there, but we've uh, just opened it up and taken it off. And this was inside. That's what the door was made of. Yeah, it's uh, that's the reason why it's flimsy, and that's the reason why the back door's flimsy as well. John, or the garage on the yeah. back of it. So we're going to replace it with some um, hardwood plywood and uh, keep the front and put a new lock on it. So we've got this out of the garage. I think we can do something with that lock, yeah, can we? We've got a template so we can uh, we can cut something round in and see where we go from there. Let's have a look then. So we're going to seal the uh, front base plate, base plate yeah. onto the new uh, hardwood ply. Okay, we've now got the hardwood plywood in there, and we've now got a little key in, and we can lock it. Yay! And it's not flimsy. It's not flimsy at all. But oh, it's a bit of a it's it needs to be cleaned up, but it's not flimsy. Did, did we show them how flimsy it was, Rob? Shall we show them no, the back? Tell you what, show, have a look at this one. See right. how flimsy this is, Rob. Look at this. This is what it was like, and this we've got to do the it's same to this one. one but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is not what a wooden door yeah, that's, should that's do. Yeah, so we'll do the same with that one. Yeah. But we'll get rid of the grating as well, won't we? Yeah, that yeah. was there for the uh, generator. Generator, so we, uh, yeah. We don't really need that in this case. Yeah. It's part of the gap, so. uh, cool, another little job done. Yeah. Right, so we've got ourselves a little grease gun so we can grease up these new joints and the prop shaft UJ, UJ things like that. Okay, Rob, go for it, mate. See what we got. So 
take much to fill it up. I'll tell you when it's coming out. You feel that whole joint. Feel the resistance. A little bit. And at the end of it. Yeah, it's definitely going because you wouldn't. Uh, yeah, feel the resistance. Kingpin joint, the swivel, go up, rub, go. Yep, yep. that's it, it's coming out. So you can see it there. Straight. Lovely. <laughs> yep, grease coming out, Rob. Stop. Yeah. Yep, lovely. There's the grease, guys. Okay, and now the passenger side. Kingpin. That come through? Yep, that's it Rob, yep, perfect. You felt like it did. Now the bottom joint. Nothing's coming through. <sighs> Yep, that's coming through, Rob. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we're on the mirrors now. So what we've done is taken the old mirror glass out, or plastic, whatever it was, and uh, we've painted the back of the mirrors. They're starting to get a little bit rusty. So, uh, so that's now protected now, ready for the new install. And where's the mirrors, Rob? There and we go. The mirror there. Just there's the mirror there. Just getting the rubber off around it. And what we're going to use, they had a sticky adhesive there. We're going to use silicon, clear silicon, which will adhere to that and stick the mirror on at the same time. Okay, what we're going to do is put a, a good bonding of silicon all the way around and that will adhere the glass to the uh, the metal frame. Okay, we've put the silicon in and now what we're going to do is just offer that up and it pushes. There you go. good thing is you can see the silicon is pushing out we should we'll wipe the excess off um, but that's now made a good seal for the mirror not to fall out there we go and now we've got two brand new mirrors now we have an arrival of tires yay so we've got uh, two tires on the vehicle already two brand new tires and these are the four tires uh, for the rear there we go absolutely lovely well we were going to take these to one of the local uh, tyre centres to get them fitted but uh, a very kind neighbour over the road uh, John he's got a VW camper uh, he works in a garage and he's very kindly offered to do that for us for uh, for nothing so uh, he's already done two for us so we've got these four to do uh, uh, next Monday and Tuesday of next week I think Okay, as we mentioned, we had a, a visit on uh, Sunday from Roman in Raymond, which was Carl and Helen. And uh, I strongly recommend that you go and watch their YouTube uh, videos, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but Carl came up with a surprise for John. Um, you need to watch their video first before you understand the joke, which is going to come uh, uh, appear, appear in a minute. Um, but um, Helen was a bit shocked when she, uh, Carl uh, showed John what the surprise was. But uh, Helen, he's catching. It's seriously catching. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy that guys. Speak to you in a bit. Okay, um bit of a small little job today, but uh, what I'm gonna do is uh sand these down and get these prepped. This is where the battery sits. Um get this prepped for painting just so it tidies the engine up and uh, also get it prepped as well down here and across here just to get rid of some of this surface dust uh, rust, sorry, and uh try and clear the thing up. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a, a nice looking engine, so uh, let's get on with it. Let's, um, we've painted all inside. This is going to be painted uh, the same colour as what the bonnet is, but when we get round to doing that, but um, you can see we've tidied the whole part up and it looks rather neat. And 
looking new. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's better. looking a bit tidy now, well, doesn't so it? So yeah, we're putting the grill on now. Yeah. Okay, Rob. So, we'll um, show them the, yeah. Know, but you can see we've actually put the side lights on. Well, ah, the units yes. The side lights, so, there we uh, go. We've now managed to get side lights in now as well. Side lights there, guys. Yeah. LED side lights. Excellent. Okay. That's looking pretty smart, guys. Very nice. We uh, had a little bit of a problem with the uh, side lights. Every time we put the hazard lights on, the side lights were flashing. And um, we've just investigated the back part of the uh, the RV and taken this uh, light box. unit part. Yeah, and it's full of water. Yeah, it's full so of water, guys. Some water coming in there, and obviously you can oh. see so it's rusty out quite a few of the uh, connections. I'll strip this down, clean it up, and uh, see go if from that there. Solves the problem. What job have you got on this morning, Rob? Well, we uh, after all the work we've done yesterday, we've noticed that the telltale light is not working on the passenger side, the right hand side. So the indicators, yep. Yeah, the indicators. So what we're going to do is take this paddle off. Thankfully, they come off in sections. <laughs> And uh, we're going to see if the bulb's gone inside it and replace the bulb. Okay, okay. 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 Um, as, we, as I said previously, we had a problem with the telltale light. We've had all the <laughs> dashboard out. Um, it, it's it's all gone back together, but it's as simple as um, the, the circuit board uh, just needed a bit of a clean. Uh, we've cleaned it, put it back together, tried it before we screwed it back in, and the whole thing's working now. So happy days. Right, let's show the viewers our finished work. Here we go, left hand indicator, Rob. Yeah, and now a right hand indicator. Yay! Happy days, Jesus. MOT nearly there. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've just put the wipers on. Um, nice and easy job. It's nice and simple. Again, New wipers. Last little bits to get through the MOT. Turn the wipers on and the washers were working and then decided to give up the ghost and it looks like the motor's gone on the washer buckle. Yeah. So we're so going to have to replace that motor. So we'll pull this we've bottle a, out. And yeah, we've got a good connection though, um, good circuit through, um, but the motor's not working at all. Yeah, yeah, we've got 12 volts to the motor, yeah. but it's, uh, yep. Right, let's get it out. All right, uh, we've taken it apart and we're going to get a new motor, but um, We've uh, looked at the motor and tested it out and the motor was working so it must have been a bad uh, electrical point. So clean them all up, put it all back together, voila, it's working. There we go, start up a treat. Johnny's gonna take it for his test drive. Oh, she looks good. She looks very good. Yeah, we know there's some work to be done on the outside, but from where we were, just a few cars coming. Oh, she sounds good. Just turning round. Oh, she looks good.
here she comes again absolute beauty take care everybody wants to see it moving There you go guys, this uh, long video, a lot of work's been done on uh, Indiana this week, a lot of uh, mechanical stuff, um, we are very close to having an uh, MOT, we have got tyres going up next week, brand new tyres, six all the way around, we need number plates and a flexible brake. Oh, we've got top two tyres already on, Yeah, got the we've front, got the so remainder to go on yeah, this week, back, yeah, yeah. going to go yeah. on his back this week as well, so uh, as I said, it is a long video, guys, but well worth a watch. Um, it's thoroughly enjoyable, honestly. And um, I hope they enjoyed that little road trip. Oh, I hope you do. It's uh, absolutely superb. Proving it does Couldn't, run. Yeah, yeah. Well, those disbelievers say, you know, throw to over when we first had it. What a big mistake that would have been. But uh, there you go. But uh, Andy, just like to point out to you that oh, yes. uh, we may very close be uh, up for that little uh, excursion that uh, we're looking at on june the 10th so andy we'll... many fun adventures yes yeah, sorry my, my bad yeah many fun adventures yep. so we, it's getting close to that so we're, we're, we're uh fingers we're crossed andy yeah. fingers crossed yeah oh by the way guys don't forget to subscribe as well it doesn't cost anything thanks okay. a lot take care cheers guys bye bye